Hey everybody, this is Mikey Vizan, and today I'm going to answer some questions. I've answered questions before, obviously, in the comments, but I uh, thought I'd try out a Q&A format. So, here we go. Do you prefer to ask questions or answer them? Well, I generally prefer to listen, uh, but sometimes I like to answer questions. Usually I, I don't, I don't know. Ugh. I guess I like to, I'm answering this question really terribly, sorry about that. I normally have to think a lot about what I'm saying. It's just a quirk. Sometimes makes it difficult to uh, have a normal conversation over thinking things. But do you prefer to ask questions or answer them? Uh, I guess I like to ask questions more so than answer them because then I don't have to talk too much. I know you said you don't do drugs, but do you think pot or psychedelics or any drug can affect creativity, perhaps for better or for worse? Yeah, I, I think um, anything that you do or experience is going to have a, an impact on your life and it could be good, it could be bad, it could be neutral. I think drugs in and of themselves are ethically neutral. Um, it's the context in which the drug is taken that defines whether or not it's beneficial. Like those shirts that say, just say no to drugs, the dare shirts. I always thought that was kind of silly because say no to drugs, well drug is an umbrella term that encompasses all of these substances, many of which are socially acceptable that we don't even question. Like drink the coffee break is the unquestioned drug ritual in America. Um, just say no to drugs. Well, that would mean saying no to penicillin when I get strep throat and potentially die. So it's I think it's a complex issue um, about whether or not drugs are good or bad. It just depends on the drug and the context in which it's taken. So I don't see the world as black and white. See, there's a thousand shades of gray, there's nuance. Um, as far as the drugs that people assume that I do, that being psychedelics, no, I don't use any. Uh, I think some people's minds are probably too fragile for that. And when people associate drugs with creativity, I think they're often overemphasizing the drugs over the hard work. Like, what makes a good musician isn't taking psychedelics, it's spending thousands and thousands of hours developing their craft. Saying drugs lead to creativity is the same as saying video games lead to violence. Causation and correlation are not the same thing. I have more I could say about that, but I hope I haven't alienated a large, the larger portion of my um, viewers. I don't have anything against it, it's just not for me. There you go. When did you first realize you wanted to make animations? Or was it more of a process that just made sense since you liked animation and drawing? What were some of your inspirations for animating? Well, I first did animation six years ago. <clears throat> I was 19. Uh, I had just gotten home from a friend's house. We were watching Ren and Stimpy. And for whatever reason, I just wanted to replicate the cartoons that I've been watching all my life and see if I could try it. It seemed easy enough. But um, there's a certain mystery to seeing drawings come to life and move around. It's really creepy in a way. Even innocent things like Mickey Mouse kind of creep me out. 
so I just wanted to make my drawings move and it, animation is a natural extension from drawing if you actually every art form is painting whatever if you if you start out drawing for so many years it's an easy uh, drawings laying down the foundation for other things basically so animating was a natural progression from drawing and writing music was a natural progression from listening to music all the time so yeah I guess early inspirations would be the Disney films such as Snow White, Pinocchio, Bambi, Fantasia, Dumbo those first few Disney films really blew my mind it's the artistry of it um, anime like any of the Studio Ghibli films Ghibli, Ghibli, I'm not sure but basically Hayao Miyazaki is kind of the best uh, Satoshi Kon, well he was a later influence I don't know, I, I like a lot of different things so well, I guess I'll just get to the next question I feel like I'm doing this really not that good but hopefully I'll get better See, the thing is, is I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I don't like making videos that much because I uh, second guess everything I say and just re-record stuff. But I just decide, you know what, even if I say things in a way that's not that great, I'll just keep going. Because it could always be better, but quantity leads to quality. The more stuff you put out, Everything you put out is a growth opportunity to do it better. So instead of just putting out five videos every two months and obsessing over each one, I'm going to try to upload more consistently. That way it'll become more natural and I won't have to overthink stuff. Same thing with anything, like animating has become a lot more natural just by doing it several hours every day. I don't even have to consciously question myself that much so anyways when did you first real oh hold on same question hold on <clears throat> okay when you make music this is the last question by the way when you make music <clears throat> excuse me when you make music do you use the same flow of consciousness technique as you do when drawing how do you usually go about writing lyrics yes it's definitely the same stream of consciousness type of mindset. Um, it's just starts out with melodies and it's kind of like a dream where things are just happening and one part of the dream leads to the other. It's the same thing with music is just put my fingers on the guitar or keyboard or whatever, move them around and melodies just naturally grow one note after the other. Same thing as speaking a sentence. I have no idea what's happening right now. I'm just saying some words and then each word that comes after the preceding word was inspired by that word. It's like planting. You kind of have to toil in the mud before you can reap a harvest. You have to plant all these seeds before things will start growing. So all these words are just seeds and hopefully something will grow out of it. Same thing with music. All the notes that you play are just seeds and then it grows into a complex melody and then lyrics come later. The lyrics are the hard part because normally I have no idea what to sing about. So then it can take months to come up with lyrics for a melody that literally was written within minutes. And then the recording and mixing stage is always tedious and kind of a headache. Because one, I don't really know what I'm doing, uh, but also I don't know what I'm doing. That, yeah, that's it. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Um, okay, well, I have like one more question, but I'll just save <clears throat> that for later things. So anyways, if you have any questions or ideas for future vids, please let me know. Um, also, what kind of content would you be interested in seeing more of? Vlogs, uh, animation tutorials, drawing videos, music, 
the animated music videos take months to produce, so I'm trying to figure out stuff to put out that wouldn't take too much time, but that I could put out uh, in between bigger projects. So please let me know what would be valuable for you, and I will try to do that. So anyways, this concludes the question and answers, and yeah.